Tonight, while other world leaders were holding closing press conferences, President Trump was leaving London in dramatic fashion, abruptly canceling a planned news conference, surprising even his own staff when he announced the news himself. There's no reason to have press conferences because we've had about eight of them. So I can't imagine you'd have any more questions. The move came after stunning video emerged overnight. Some of America's closest allies caught on video at Buckingham Palace mocking him. In one part, Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, who met with the president for over half an hour Tuesday, can be heard venting about someone's tardiness. <laughs> The president took aim at Trudeau when asked about the video today, noting he had criticized Canada for not contributing more to the NATO defense budget. It's too fast. Do you think that Germany is too naive? And honestly, with Trudeau, he's a nice guy. I, I find him to be a very nice guy. But, you know, the truth is that uh, I called him out on the fact that he's not paying 2%. And I guess he's not very happy about it. And later, Mr. Trump appeared to compliment himself for that remark in comments that were captured on audio. That was funny when I said the guy's too fast. For his part, Trudeau tried to downplay any divisions. Last night, I made a reference to the fact that uh, there was an unscheduled press conference uh, before my meeting with uh, President Trump, and I was happy to take part of it. Uh, but it was certainly notable, and I've had a number of good conversations with the president over the course of this, uh, this, uh, this day and yesterday. For President Trump, the trip was aimed at turning the page, at least temporarily, away from the impeachment inquiry, but instead sparking new controversies on the world stage. And tonight, President Trump is defending his relationships with NATO leaders, tweeting from Air Force One that he got along great with them and that there is only deep respect. The president returns to the White House later tonight. Lester. Kristen Welker in London tonight. Thank you. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.